Your daily hour with me. I got mine. Hey, it's the, the program. program. We're on TV, TV. Once, once again, a day, once a day, every day. Turn we turn on the machines, machines and then we start, start talking for an hour. I got my mic. I was looking for it. And when I started off, I was like looking around. Like, Where could I put it? That's something I should have maybe done a little bit earlier. Just a little, a little bit. Like before you start, sometimes I think maybe that's a good idea. But then, uh, maybe not. Also, it's... Tuesday, the only real day of the week. Why? Why? Why is that? Uh, because of some people um, may work on the weekends and other people don't. But and surely, of uh, you're more awake during Tuesday, focused in your work and not coming over the. The glum of of a weekend, uh, of the weekend on a Monday, or focusing on the upcoming weekend on a Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday. Yeah, in the middle, you're accepting. And as you get closer to that weekend, you're less focused in your work. So, um, hopefully, everyone was sufficiently focused in on their work today. Mm -hmm. Were you? Uh, yeah, yeah. I I had a interestingly good day. Yeah. Yeah. Tell me about it. Did you work? Of uh, work on on myself. So, yeah. Um. I. What does that mean? Well, it it means uh well more or less this of i guess i've been sort of a, a a doormat for the past 31 or 35 or 37 years but what as i get closer to the age of 40 i'm starting to you're gonna stand up for yourself wait well, yeah i'm trying to figure out what you know no more pushing carl around well where my you know call first well yes where where I where I specifically belong in, in the world today and it's a really awesome place to be at you, where where is it well I'm uh, st w uh, that's for myself and and a couple other people to decide um, I've been um, can I decide well sometimes I I've been challenged by crap that doesn't exist so i'm i'm like <laughs> what yeah yeah so sometimes people like to call me out on something like at crc or whatnot or sometimes um uh, other places and whether or not um i i have a portfolio done or um uh, I'm, I don't have the prices properly indicated on on my artwork. Uh, I pulled out my business card, and you know this person wasn't expecting it, but I was pulled out my business card, and I showed them the prices on the opposite side of my business card from within this uh, portfolio that I've been carrying. Uh huh. So um, it's almost like that, you know, when people ask me, you know specific things i'm like you know do 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 i really have the time for this do is is it appropriate for me to you, know, you have important share my energy with you know like other locations or whatnot uh crc or other places so um you're questioning your, your if you're going to keep going well uh certainly in in the general frameworks, you know, with, with uh, the uh, social uh, environments that I find myself in. Uh-huh. So, you know, I'm, uh, sometimes I, I wonder why people want to say what they say, you know, when they uh, advocate for me to um, uh, have a portfolio done or, um, you know, they tell me that, you know, 
I need to get a bike or whatever. I'm just my own person, so. Get a bike. No, I don't need a bike. Yeah, you do. Why do, okay, why do I need a bike? You'll get places faster and easier. Well, that's, if I. Bikes are fun. It makes you go, and you're riding. And yeah, you're, and they're more dangerous, too. I think they're about equally as dangerous, at least for you. Well, uh. I've had less injuries on a bike than you have running in the last, you know, while, long time, so. That's probably true, but I can still arrive where I'm going if I take my time and walk. Yeah, but then. That, that I don't you, need to. You're already earlier. Necessarily. I don't need necessarily run anywhere. But you're already saying this thing that you have the, you're like, should I spend my time doing this? Yeah. You already have your time. Thing so on. that's one of the but really it's questions not that I want to ask is whether or not. You know, I'm, it's I'm more a, like why not though. That's really the question of the bike thing. That's right. So when why not I, bike? When I um, completed yesterday's program, I I known you for about um, a thousand days. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So the thousand days ago, I pretty much premiered on the program, and now I'm I'm just kind of like, you know, is 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 the energy between us really necessary, you know, in what? terms of the combative attitude. We're com it's, uh, <laughs> that's how we're, talk we're uh, talking. Well, are we talking or are we, you know, is it a little bit more than just a talk? It's more than a talk. It's TV. Well, it's TV, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not really okay with, you know. With the bike thing? Well, just being called out by shit that doesn't really exist. The, like The bike you know, if I eat a cheese sandwich, I'm okay on eating the cheese sandwich because I'm 18 years old. I don't need to oh, answer yeah. to anyone about are, are you, eating a cheese sandwich. Are you saying that I'm uh, that you're feeling judged by me and that it's negative? No, not necessarily judged. Or what? Called out on? Uh, <laughs> well, yeah, called out on. Are you? Are you? Is, is this real talk right now? Well, of course this is real talk. So I. I I went to um, self-esteem um, at CRC for the first time, and uh, uh, hopefully I'm appropriately getting the appropriate amount of energy from that group and from the people that talked to me. Uh -huh. and, and I was, like, listening on everyone else's check-in that I could kind of carry that energy with me and, and just... You're gonna uh, be appropriately advocating with myself yeah. without, you know, coming off like a uh, snarly jerk or, um, you know, no more doormat. Else. I've been I've been treating you like a doormat because you're you want to you you feel strong about eating cheese sandwiches and it's not something to be stepped on. Maybe. Well, that's you know I mean everyone has their own opinion. I, I'm I, you know the whole cheese sandwich thing is because you went vegan for a while so it really. Like, I, I like cheese yeah, sandwiches, so how about and I that? think the... What? So, how about, how about that? that? So, e eating the cheese sandwiches, because so for a while you are going vegan, and then you went into the cheese sandwiches, yeah, and then but you're back I'm, and forth. I'm not eating the block of cheese. That's good. Yeah, that is good, because that's what I want to <laughs> kind of stay mm -hmm. myself mostly away from, is consuming a huge amount of cheese all at once. But, oh, but the sandwiches are a lot of cheese, too. So the class now you're standing up for yourself, and, and maybe I was. Well, yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to understand where people say when they say that I need to get a bike. You know, are they really advocating for me, or are they more or less advocating for some other sort of purpose? I'm advocating for you. I genuinely think it's a good idea to have a bike, and uh, I'm not. It's not like I'm trying to attack or anything. I'm just saying bikes are good, and I don't understand the. The, the lack of bikes, but you can do whatever you want, which if you have been doing, and I think you stand up for yourself pretty well already, and I don't even know if you need to do it extra. Well, no, but I, so I, I just wanted to be able to understand the energy that people bring to conversations and whatnot, and um, sometimes people is like, you know, this one person in particular, he called me a liar for not having a portfolio done last week, but the week before he wasn't in group at all. So whether or not I had a portfolio done, mm -hmm. I, you know, it was like. Did he straight up say it, the word liar? Yeah. <laughs> you liar. Yeah. I thought so this was supposed to be a support group. 
Exactly. That doesn't sound very supportive. Exactly. So I'm I'm just trying to call out, you know, uh, well, not just call out, but, you know, hey, you know, is it really necessary that we have this kind of discussion here? I mean, can we talk about something else? You know, is it is it really necessary, you, you know, to talk about cheese sandwiches if I'm still eating much less than block of cheese. You want to you wanna drop it? I, I just find it interesting to talk about. Well, sure, let's talk about it. What, what, what do you not or do like about me eating a ch- cheese sandwich that is for the focus of the program? Well, it's just that when you're eating a cheese sandwich, and then I think about all the times you were talking about being a vegan and then being a cheese sandwich eater now, and I'm kind of just... It's uh, pro- I'm, I'm trying to par- practice moderation. That's, that's my, fine. Yeah, I'm trying to practice like following Carl's dietary habit. Oh man, I mean, is that is that such a bad thing? I don't know if I'm if I'm putting it off and I'm making it seem like it's a negative thing. Maybe and that's the, how it's coming off to you. I Whoa. think it's fine. I think eating a cheese sandwich is just fine. You feel like I've been offending? Maybe is that what's going on? Or you think I'm, I'm trying to offend you, or, or to, to try to bring up the cheese sandwich as some kind of like negative? thing because maybe that's one of those those things that you're worried about there and isn't real because i'm not trying to well, hurt, hurt you by the with the cheese sandwich comments well i have is it hurtful to you is that what is that what we're talking about now i i don't i don't care how much cheese i eat mm-hmm. just as long as i moderate how much cheese i eat okay you know i don't eat, need to eat of you know eight ounce or 16 ounce cheese you know that's too much cheese all at once that's too much and you know i have to be mindful that the cheese sandwich is probably not even half of that the statistic of of a of uh, one one gallon of milk needs to have a thousand gallons of water and and where all this kind of emphasis on on Factory farming, as of late, you know the the just the pu- continued pumping out of meat products and whatever else. Too how much. that really is productive to the overall status and well-being of the planet. She's bad for the planet. Well, yeah, somewhat. I mean, of uh, uh, I also know that there's a statistic that when you uh, feed uh, a cow seven um, pounds of grain. They only uh, take in, it, it only creates one pound of, of uh, worthwhile meat. Oh, meat. And, and the, 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 you know, six extra pounds just go to waste, and that creates um, uh, a larger global carbon footprint. So every time you eat a pound of meat, it's like you're eating seven pounds of grain. Yeah, essentially. So that seems like a lot of grain. Well, yeah. What about, I mean, I usually, I think if I'm going to eat, I probably only don't even eat a whole pound. I probably eat maybe a quarter pound, which is maybe two pounds of grain, which seems a little reasonable. I mean, two pounds of grain for like a hamburger or something. That's like, like at McDonald's, they got the quarter pound of beef. So it's about two pounds of grain. Went to this. I don't know if it's that much, but maybe I'd eat it anyway. So is that the thing? Are you standing up to me right now? Is that so? Well, or? yes, I kind of am. I mean, it's it's. I didn't know that you needed to be stood up. I thought I, I thought we were. <laughs> I thought everything was okay. I'm feeling uh, now. I'm feeling bad about like the the past. If I've made you feel bad, I'm not. You know, I don't want to do that either. Well, you know, it's the the, the overall. You know, the, the idea about um, so talking now- over me whenever you know, like couple of episodes, you know, like weeks ago, you know, I went to um, um, Jimmy John's or whatever, and mm-hmm. I had this cheese sandwich. And, yeah. You know, the, you and Bird were, like, talking, and and then I was like, you know, I wanted to say his thing, but you kept on talking, and so I kept Carl on first. shouting Carl first. Carl first. I mean... Well, you were being really talkative, and you were saying a lot, and you had been talking for, like, a while before you started doing that. So you talked for a long time, and then we tried to talk, and then you started yelling that you weren't finished, and that, that was that was an episode. 
for sure. Well, yeah, I I could certainly. Um, uh, so are you still you're offended by that part back then? <sighs> the call well, back then? yeah, but I, I mean I, I. I admit that I haven't watched that episode, mm -hmm. but Maybe you should. when you ask me a question, but you continue to prompt me for a question, but you talk over me as you ask this question, am I mm -hmm. supposed to respond to it at some point, or am I just going to allow you to keep on talking? That's what I wonder. Oh, I think that you should use some kind of balance. But I don't think that I would do that. Really, I think you should go back and watch that episode because I definitely would give you a chance to talk if you wanted to. <sighs> okay. But that was like on the 8th. Have you been stewing on this? I mean, that was like two or three weeks ago. Has this been well, bothering no, you the I've, whole time? I, or? So I've been wondering about my place in the energy, you know, wherever I go, you know, whomever I deal with, you know, that they have to put me on the defensive and I'm just like... What the heck? You know, what what am I put, being put on the defensive for about, you know, this or that or whatever, you know? I would rather just let things exist as they are. Why do you have to defend rather yourself? Rather than to be, you know, like, being so combative or whatnot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, so you, you, you want to talk, when, when you're talking, you want to be allowed to talk and nobody should interrupt you, right? Well, th that's not what I'm saying. Oh. I'm saying that I, you know, we should have real conversations rather than um, having a shouting match above one another. Or that was you. That was, you were doing the shouting match, though. You, well, I, if On I day, am not, not able to respond to something, then of course I will shout because you ask a question and it's like, you no, know, you got to watch I, it. On that episode, you were the one that was shouting over us. If anything. Well, the, right. I should be offended. I was, no, I was trying to say something, and you kept on, like, asking another way of asking that question or something. No, that's not true. No, that is Go true. watch the episode. I, I think, will watch the episode, uh -huh. and then and report I back. Will, you know, yes. I think I think what it seems like is that your response that day when you were yelling Carl first and stuff, that seems like what you thought was happening to you, because obviously you seemed like you were attacked or something, but then we were... Like, whoa, what cause is this very being aggressive, I thought. Well, no, I, I can be aggressive when it, I need to be, but I'd rather not be aggressive at all. Uh huh. I'd rather just, you know, let people continue to talk. And I don't have so much of a say so of input or whatever. You know, that's, that's totally necessary. Well, I'll give you your space call. You can say as much as you want. Well, I'm. I think you, you don't say enough. You need more time. I mean, no, I don't need more time. I, it's it's in the proper level of balance that I'm looking for. I feel balanced. If you if you have an issue, you should bring it up at the time. I mean, on that day, maybe you thought about it and it was like, and you're like, I was disrespected. Do you feel disrespected by us? Well, so anyway, um, <laughs> you don't want to. Oh, you am I doing it again? Am I digging? Is that what you don't want to talk about? Well, th no, no. This that's. I don't know. It's a, it's all appropriate. I'm just trying. I'm to digging now. Now now no. I have, I'm I'm thinking I'm like every okay. time I say something I'm like my friend and Carl right now. Uh, is this okay to say? Like you don't want to talk about your sandwich? No no I could talk about whatever. Okay. I I could talk about you know the the, the fact that I don't want to climb a uh, you know a uh, bike up you know a flight of stairs. Now yeah, that's the bike. I mean <laughs> surely Freddie okay Freddie does it, you know, uh, two flights of stairs or a flight and a half or whatever as you go up one level and another level, but... You don't want to do it. You just don't like he, the bike. Well, well, no, he's got, he's got the open clearance, you know, that he can uh, rotate on a 90-degree angle and whatnot. Do you like bikes, Carl? Why don't you just say, I don't like them? I, I, I couldn't accept them. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but why... why for, you? for, you know, if they were, like, cardboard-based... <laughs> what happened to your cardboard bike? Why don't you just say, I don't like bikes? And that's easy to say. I say, why don't you write, I don't like bikes? Well, um, I, I don't like bikes if they uh, have such a, you know, large price, carbon footprint, whatever. Bikes have a very small carbon footprint. I know you've... This well, this. No, but it's there's a financial impact. You know, there are some bicycles that cost, you know, $100 or whatever. 
Mm -hmm. I don't really necessarily have a hundred dollars. Not mm -hmm. saying that I need. Just to say go you don't like bikes. This whole the whole carbon no, footprint thing in bikes is the opposite. To, yeah, I don't need to necessarily go to um, Fred Meyer or wherever else that they're selling bikes to buy it brand new. I could certainly get one at at um, Evergreen or a free bike shop or whatever. Yeah. But you know, if a if the chain comes off, if the flyer tire goes flat, you know there are a number of different things that go wrong with the bike. Yeah, but it's like I'm and a it's almost like um, you're carrying around um, uh, a forty pound or twenty pound, you know, like yeah block of nothing. But it's like all those times when you could be drive or you, you drive your car on occasion, and instead yeah. of instead of driving the car, you could ride the bike. Well, I don't really necessarily find it, you know, advantageous for me to ride the bike from um, uh, uh, over there by um, um, generally where the Olympian um, um, newspaper is printed to uh, Fred Meyer and Tomwater. Or even yeah, to get that's there. not too far of a bike ride, really, though. If you got used to it, you could do it. Well, yes, but I, I'm sure it would take maybe an hour, and I'm not. I don't want to, you know, go from there to Evergreen State College. Uh huh. Um, so and, driving, and, I mean, driving is more convenient. It is, but uh, you know, well, as far yes, as carbon footprints goes, but well, driving is way of, worse. Of course. Yeah. Of course, but it's not necessarily that I need to. I'm speaking about my Saturday schedule, but I don't want to do um, all of that um, all the time. Mm -hmm. And it's certainly not necessarily if for me to do it if I can get from point A to point B by walking. Yeah. If I can get from point A to point B by walking, then um, I, you know, walking is where it's at. Okay. Uh, all right. Wow. Well, is it, are you feeling better now? Do you get it all off your chest? Are you, you're not a doormat anymore, right? Well, right. I so I'm I'm constantly going to you know just kind of be you know I mean I don't know. This the, is a new you. Knew you you're gonna be. Well, your, I don't really want to be this abrasive or or cranky. You know. Uh, Standing up for myself is not, you know. Well, standing up for yourself one, isn't impressive. One of my things that I haven't really done in, you know, much of my life. So whenever I do it, you know, sometimes I might c come off and I apologize on the program. Are you going to try this I out? I have tried to raise my voice. Oh, your, uh, your opinions are invalid. Your opinions are invalid, you heathen. Okay. Well, th that's are you gonna stand true up for, for you. Because you're not experiencing your your opinions are invalid. World I don't like, I don't think you should be doing that oh, world. Okay. I think your opinions are invalid. And your world is wrong. Well, my world. Well, your world is wrong. Oh, I'm trying to I'm trying to I'm trying to get you uh, to stand up for yourself. <laughs> I don't know if we're gonna. No, no, uh, uh, you should, and you go no no go first go first and that's when you start yelling call first and then you step on your uh, doormat and you you're, you're gonna do it. Oh. Yeah, I don't want to spray on the microphone. You're no longer a doormat, Carl. You, you're a per, you're a real person. No more pushing you around. No more pushing Carl around. <laughs> if you try to push Carl around, Carl will push back now. Before you, maybe you got pushed. I can see it. I see it. You're, 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 you got a bit. I'm proud of you. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, your opinions are invalid. Your opinions are invalid. Yes. So, I, uh, I could you, ask you if you ever visited a Unitarian church. You're a your, your church or, is dumb. Or, I mean, uh, uh, any church at all. Your church not, is dumb. Not Unitarian. <laughs> I'm not, not, not well, that you're so not a doormat. that's one of the things that came up, you know, is like a thousand episodes ago is like I started talking about, you know, the uh, music director that was, you know, uh, caught in legal trouble. Mm -hmm. And it's like... You don't. What about that church? Is is interesting or or whatever you said? Oh you yeah, know. the church is bad. Yeah, I think so. Why don't they make up their mind? Uh, they don't need to make up their mind. Yeah, they do. Then what's the point of going to church at all? 
<sighs> so what church do you follow? I don't follow a church, but I don't think that anybody should. Well, and I think if you want to choose, then you see, should that, choose one that's, or none. That's if you don't want no, if you want no, all churches or no churches, then you can do what I'm doing. If you want this other thing, this group, this, it's like a thing that you got to choose. You can going to go to the church and then do them all. I, I don't need to choose. They're all, but I they're all separate. Made a choice. They all, most of the religions, I think, within themselves have rules that say don't believe the other rules because there's only <laughs> one rule, and this is our rules. And if you believe both rules, then you're not believing either rule. Well, if you believe in nonviolence, is that is that a good thing or a bad thing? That's I think that's good, but <laughs> if everyone puts down their weapons and and just. I mean, um, that's, that's seriously, he sings Kumbaya, my lord, oh. Kumbaya, and, and everyone understands that an eye for an eye makes the whole world blind. That's no, the most general. I don't know how what's wrong with that. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's your argument, is that you like that, that violence is bad? So every, I mean, you can't come back with an argument saying violence is bad, of course that. But, like, you, you hear, I mean, any, it's like... Carl, don't you, you don't want to ride a bike? No. Well, don't you think that violence is bad? Yes. So I mean, it, 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 it's, yeah, they're not connected. I don't know what you're saying, but the yeah, church needs to make a decision. Well, you brought up, you know. Well, I should write the number of my hand. <laughs> yeah. See, now, now what's happening is that you're bringing up all these things that I said that you didn't like in the past, and then I'm saying them again. And. Yes, I mean, how about that? But this time you know, around, you're standing what, up for yourself. What, what about the, what about the church? You know, I mean, if you don't follow a specific church, then um, what? You know, why do you church have of the program feedback or input on the Unitarian Church? I just, I don't understand. Because I, I think they need to make a decision. They're, they're I, don't, I have made a decision. Peace and nonviolence is the way. You yeah, know, but that's what we, we, that's, we all, that's fine and good. Everyone's religion on the basis of the kindness and you know every every single religion. No, you can out think there every you can you can be this is a little bit of religion that is kind and gentle and honest and and you know not confrontational and oh my God is better than your God. No, but Whoa. I think those those religions aren't like that either, and that's it's 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 just like. Well, what do you the, do when you go to church? The, you got to make a decision. The three Abrahamic religions are kind of confrontational on one another, and I wish that weren't the case. I just think that they shouldn't be having the other ones in there because there's spaces. Like, each, like I know that in in like it's like there's only one. It's not the that's the the first commandment of the Christian thing, or I think it's probably maybe Jew, Jew, Jewish people use the. Ten Commandments too. I'm not really sure about it, but it's like I'm the only God, number one. So if you have more right. than one on the wall, that's not good for religion. Well, not not only that, you know, it's like my God is more important. Well, it, that's kind of what I read into that. Yeah, and that's, and that's what that's how not, that's what religion is. I mean, you got to have that. No, you can't, you don't necessarily need to have you know Judaism fighting the Christian God. And, They're uh, not fighting, but you, if well, you you choose one and then you go well, with it. That's what faith, yeah, but you have a Allah, faith in it. Allah and and Jesus and and or Christian God, you know, if they were all from the same uh, dynamic, um, what are we really fighting for, or fighting against, or repelling one sect versus another? You know, I think most religions are nonviolent and peaceful. And only the extremists are the violent ones anyway, so I think they probably don't want to violence. Like, religion, they don't want violence anyway. I think it's easier to choose. You gotta choose. Just choose. If you wanna I go choosed. to church, if you wanna choose, go to a church. Go to a real church and choose something. You have all these, like, five religions on the walls. Choose something. I, I choose Buddhism, you know, which is not really a religion per se. It's, it's kind of like a, maybe a mental space to be at, you know, some sort of philosophy, you know, um, th there are c certainly Buddhist nuns and monks and whatnot that might be watching this program right now to say, no, Carl, we're involved in the religion, but, you know, I mean, Namaste. okay, so th they're, 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 yeah, they're, uh, you know, they're involved in the religion, but, you know, it's not really God-based, you know, the, the, the <laughs> uh -huh. God that we find out in the world is it's somewhat yourself. of the manif manifestation of the God we find in ourselves. Yeah. So. 
Stand up for yourself. Um. No more being a doormat. Stand up for yourself. <sighs> yeah. So, no more pushing Carl around. Oh God. Carl, you're a, you're a grown you're a grown person. I, I used to, you know, <laughs> maybe I did. You know, I, yesterday maybe I I saw you. I thought you were a doormat. And I thought, you know, th what am I gonna do today? I'm gonna stomp all over Carl today. That's what I was well, thinking when I started the show. I was like, today, how am I gonna stomp on Carl today? But now after this whole thing, no more pushing Carl around. I'm 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 done. Oh boy. Carl, you've intimidated me. I'm intimidated. I'm gonna. <sighs> Never, I'm never gonna push you around again. I'm sorry I, that I pushed you around in the past. Maybe did I push you around? I don't think I did. I don't right. think I pushed you around in the past, Carl. But I'm sorry anyway. I'm sorry for intimidating you. are Not doormat. You can stand. You're uh, you're, you're strong. You're strong in will. Uh, here we go. Let's let's roll the dice. Uh, couldn't do without you. You're the you're, you're Carl's the, the leader. Carl, I look up to I look up to you, Carl. You're you're the you're you're not a doormat anymore. Not like I'm, maybe I'm still a doormat. I'm I, I get pushed around. Where, oh, where is it? Five. Oh, I'm not a doormat. I won. Look, I got 500 points. Did you? Oh, did you win? Two. Uh, you lost. Have you? Uh, are you? Is there anybody else you're gonna stand up to after me? Well, or it was <laughs> whoa, extreme close up. Whoa! Sorry about that, viewers. I've been stood up to. Just in case, you know. Am I a bully? I don't know. I don't know. Hopefully, I'm not being a bully, not Carl. I feel like I'm really feeling like you were calling me a bully. Uh, of course, this is not Wayne's world, but. Were you calling me a bully like <sighs> for the past 15 minutes? Well, um. I don't know. Things are just in this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> All right. Uh, here's this message. Or right. let's see it. No more pushing. What else, what what else are you gonna do with your newfound attitude? Like, what is there any? Well, the, 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 I I'm I'm just trying to own the energy that is around me in an appropriate way. So. But what is that gonna What is that gonna manifest to? I mean, that's some yeah, well, words, but. Yeah, hopefully in a good way, because. You know, this is really interesting, vibrant energy that I'm involved with. Uh huh. Never well, really well, done this before, but okay. what, what? I mean, I, I, it's all you're kind of talking in an abstract way. Like, what are what, what are you gonna and do? And I am abstract, and that's okay. What are you gonna do, that's, Carl? You're okay. What is standing up for yourself? I like love this? you, Carl. <laughs> Carl, future. What are you gonna do now that you're standing up for yourself? Though you're like people like that. What are you gonna do, to that guy <sighs> that called you a liar? Are you gonna tell him? Like, I'm well, not a liar. Yeah, well, I'm, You're a liar. You're a liar for calling me a liar. That's a lie. Well, I'm I'm just gonna you know say basically the same thing. That I mean, isn't I, that guy having his own problems? That's why he's at a support group himself, right? Well, we're we're all on on a specific path. Each one of us on this planet. So. Uh huh. Yeah. Oh, Elias left us a silent message, but we'll call her back. Or here it goes. I'm gonna say hi to Elias today. Can you tell you can we can tell Elias that, has Elias been uh, stepping on you as a doormat at all? No, we we talked actually for two hours last night. What? That's a long time. Or an hour and a half or something. That's longer than the program is. I know it kind of dragged. Well, it, it it went on. It didn't drag. You know, it is was that, it was part, a good conversation. Is this part of your standing up for yourself? Oh, Did you gosh. Learn from no, Elias? no, no, no. It was it was honest and kind and. You know, she wants me to uh, join her for lunch and whatnot. Uh -huh. and so, um, I guess I'll have another report back <laughs> gonna go around Sunday night, I guess. Hello? Elias. Hi, you reached me. Um, I'm not able to come to the phone right now, so anyway. leave me a message and I'll get back to you, maybe. All right. Hope you're having a great day. <laughs> Sorry, that mailbox is full. Yeah, there's a restaurant Please call again later. Over by um, the Kawasaki um, engine or mm -hmm. motor store. Um, What's it called? Uh, uh, like a Mongolian grill of some, qu oh, yeah. some kind. You guys have a lot in common, you know, because Elias, she won't wear shoes and you won't ride a bike. Well, I don't know that that's really common. Well, that's the same. Like you guys are defying logic. I got shoes on. Yeah, but and they zipper up to you don't under, past you don't understand the connection ankle. between not wearing shoes and, and not wearing oh, wanting to ride a bike a though. Well, you, you might want to have a more of a 
extreme close up. Well, sorry Elias again. Elias just doesn't but, like wearing shoes. Well, yeah, but and you just don't like riding a bike. Well, that's and how about that? There's no and. That's it. I'm done. I mean, what? <laughs> what? I think you're adding the end yourself. Like there is no, no end. So, um, surely, you know, uh, it might be unhealthy. Yeah, and I don't respect your opinions. That's what the yeah, end is, uh, maybe, huh? No. Is that what you want the end to be? <laughs> because I, it's no. No, there's no end. That's it. I'm oh. ending, like, I'm saying the statement. You just don't like to ride a bike. Well, the, yeah, because... If I was an end, I would be saying it. The, 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 all of the, you know, fees... You know that would go okay, into. Okay, okay, okay. I don't want to. Uh, yeah, we've we've been talking. We're going around in circles about this bike talk. But uh, <laughs> what, what I mean, surely I could spend a uh, hundred dollars, and the hundred dollars no, okay, no would talk. be. You know, I don't I'm need standing, to maintain I'm standing it up for myself. Uh, I'm like, go first, go first, go first. Um, here we go. <laughs> Let's six go months. Go first, go first. Six months. Let's yeah. Call Freddie the producer. Let's find out how the production end is going. I'm sorry. Did I did, did, did I step on you? Or you know, get a free bike at Ever Evergreen, but you know, yeah, we're, we're some of those are really used parts, and I'm not too keen on on having a uh -huh. a bike that's used because you know the chain can come off or whatnot. Yeah, I mean, you're, you're already said all okay, this. Okay, sure. Moving on, moving on. Here we go. Paranoid, a little bit. So what? <laughs> so what? <laughs> There's I no like walking. Involved. There's no end. People aren't saying more than they're saying. It's just what Facebook I the face value. I walk with my iPod, and I listen to lots of good music. Music that helps well, me speed. Well, when did you talk to Elias? Like it must have been late at night because. Oh yeah. We were done here like at midnight. So. No, she 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 called me at at um one in the morning or something. Wow. So one until three, I was like talking to her. And then. Hey, program. Hey, Freddy. How you doing? <laughs> um, it's going pretty good. Yeah. Uh, the production end is going a little weird. We got some good news <laughs> and some bad news. Okay. Huh? <clears throat> the good news is um, we've got um, some really exciting old episodes being uploaded like the episode from this very day in 2011 wow. is now uploaded so that's cool you can check that out the 28th of uh, April in 2011 that's pretty cool and then we started uploading the early episodes um, uh, like episode 37 that's one that hasn't been on YouTube before I just got that uploaded time travel um yeah. <clears throat> the bad news is the m most recent YouTube are not ready for YouTube. And, in fact, we might be experiencing some kind of weird bad on TV um, today. Could be. Um, what do you mean Because we by don't that? have... I mean that... Um, I mean that it's not maybe going to air tonight. I don't know. Uh, oh. I didn't turn it on. <laughs> Ooh. I didn't turn one in. Uh, yeah, um, okay. So I didn't turn one in. That's basically what it means. You know, your your uh, uh the, the 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 percentages are still way up there. You know, for days and yeah, yeah, that's true. We're usually there, and there'll definitely be something there for two a.m. So the two a.m. viewers will be fine. It's just eleven thirty people. I, I haven't even checked uh, the TCTV website. But I will here just to make sure. You know, oftentimes we'll have them run an old episode. That'd probably be fine. But um, and then the other thing that's almost funny to me is that I thought, actually, we've got something here. I guess you just put the 2 a.m. at 11.32. So this is, uh, so it's night at 11.30. It's the 2 a.m. episode from um, this morning, so it's actually going to be playing April 28th episode from 2012. That's probably the best way to do it, really. So if you set that up, that's good. good job. But at least it'll be something there. Yeah, thanks. Um, uh, what's the name there? VCRs. No. <laughs> Bill. Bill. Yeah, Bill. Thanks, Bill. Bill. Thank you, Bill. Bill really, yeah, saved us. I think that's totally fine, actually. 
Yeah, so maybe it's not a bad thing at all. There, there'll be something there. And then actually tomorrow morning at 2 a.m. after this episode is a really funny episode to me because it's a, speaking of VCRs, it's got some weird thing where we taped over Jurassic Park, but we, um, like on one capture that I did, the first capture, the audio came over as just the audio from the movie Jurassic Park for the whole episode. What? Um, maybe I think actually at the end, at the end it kind of switches back, but I was actually able to recapture it um, on TV or again. And so the YouTube version of that episode has the correct audio, but the TV version is actually Jurassic Park's audio. And you're going to leave it like that, yeah? Yeah. All right, that's, that's pretty good. <laughs> Jurassic Park, and there's a new one coming out soon. Oh, that's true. It's very topical. Hey, did, um, you, did you see so that? Oh, yes? One final thing. Wednesday episode, the one that should air tomorrow, I thought I'd already captured that well before we even did, went to Arts Walk and stuff. Um, but when I was building the episode today, I realized that I only had the last half hour of that episode. Mm. And I don't know what happened to the first half hour. And that tape is currently sitting in the stacks of the um, of the art gallery. Mm. So that's going to be a challenge. I'm going to try to take get up to that challenge and, and fix everything tomorrow, get us back on track, start getting stuff uploading to YouTube. But that's the state of the production in tonight. All right. Well, I think, you know, maybe that... That art installation was some heavy, you know, extra program stuff, and it, it kind of was too much. Maybe too much, yeah. Mm -hmm. that, you, know, you know how I, I always say, you know, keep it, keep, we got to keep it going easy. And sometimes yeah. people say, like, do all this stuff, and it's like, well, we're trying to maintain. Yeah. Yeah, I realized that, that, um, that the maintaining is probably... Um, if the maintaining it was made harder by adding new things, I think that's the way it always goes. Yeah. Well, it's okay. Well, you know, it's it's a uh, from the thing, but we we got extra. We did an extra thing, and now we're doing a little bit less. So we're balanced. We're balanced still because we did so much extra for the uh, the thing there. You heard it's going to be open from two to six tomorrow. Uh, the program's going to be from two to six tomorrow. No, no the, the gallery. Oh, no, I didn't hear that. Yeah, so um, I'm going to try to be there at least part of that time. And then you can go get the tape. Yeah. Well, cool. I'll try to get uh, there, but, you know, chances are I work from 2 to 10. That's generally what oh, I do yeah. on Wednesday. Well, if um, you want, I can collect them in my car. Oh, you don't want to grab all those tapes, Carl. I don't even know. You need a man for that. Yeah. Uh, well, I'm I'm grown so much in these uh, 39 years. So Carl standing Carl Carl standing up for himself for the first time apparently. That's right. You're right, Carl. You probably can take care of it. So um, <laughs> you can no, do anything okay. you put your mind to, Carl. But really, I think it'd be easier if we if you didn't. You can though. You could yeah. if you wanted to. Real a lot though. Carl Carl's not a doormat anymore. That's good. Did you hear what Way happened in Baltimore? Uh, yeah, I heard that um, they in a, they burned down a um, retire like a home for poor seniors. Oh my seniors gosh. who don't have a lot of money. Also, that burned a, down. also a CVS pharmacy. But do you know what started? This? Why? Yeah. Why are they doing all this? I don't know why. Uh, well, it was like there was like three days of of calm protests, and then like probably people who are not really actually protesting. Thing. There was this guy named like Freddie Gray who yeah. uh, got probably killed in police custody. He got like a really severe back injury while he was in custody of the police, and then he died from that injury that he received while in police custody. And I'm not really sure how he got it yet, but everyone was just like, whoa, more police injustice. And so they were protesting against it. And then um, some people started rioting. I don't think sometimes, you know, I've been watching some spy shows with Kirsten where we've been watching this show called The Americans where they talk about some spy stuff. And sometimes, you know, people who want a certain thing will put, will like insert 
bad people into their opponents, and then those people will start doing crazy stuff, and people will attribute the actions of those bad people to the group which they're like kind of only tangentially associated with or associated with, like just to discredit them. So I sometimes wonder about that kind of stuff when a peaceful protest goes really crazy. It's like easy for one person to start it into a really violent thing. Yeah. They're like yeah. maybe moles or it's like extreme it's it's kind of how it really it is with anything. The people who are who you see are the extremists. Yeah. Mm. And All the, the other people went home, probably. They went home or they're the like the people who are the loudest are the people you're gonna hear. And those are pr- yeah. usually the most aggressive and you know intense things so it seems like everything is all intense all the time because i think they come out of the woodwork more um hey also but locally i mean i don't mean to take you know there's a lot of stuff that's big stuff happening there and there's things happening in nepal and there's things happening elsewhere but locally we've been having some serious stuff at the schools i heard that there was like um a lockdown today at their school in thurston county somewhere and okay. um yeah. Again, huh? So, yes, yes, <laughs> yesterday there was that actual shooting where shots were fired, but thank goodness no one was injured. But um, there was, an, I don't know, it, it might have just been a threat or something. I'm not sure why it was locked down, but that's what I heard say. There was a lockdown where? in the school. The I think same it was, school? It was not North Person, it was some other one, maybe like... Elementary. It was an elementary school. I think they heard gunshots in the neighborhood and... They think it was just because there was heightened awareness about... Oh, God, um, chill out, people. Oh, so it wasn't really a... Nothing really happened. They just thought... A car backfired in the neighborhood, and they thought it was uh, yeah. done. Yeah. Oh, because they're worried about... Because of the this other one. Maybe they're on the edge. Yeah. yeah. Hey, you did, I in in more light, light news, happy news anyway, did you see... That I know that you put on the secret message, but that you and Kirsten, you met on the program, maybe, right? Yeah, yesterday. That was the day we met on the program, just yesterday. And, and um, today was, apparently, Facebook has told us that's the first day that we've been, we've been Facebook friends for a whole year now. Oh, yeah, wow. So, so was it the actual first meeting was on camera? That's right, yeah. The very first time we ever met was on camera, right there on the program. <laughs> wow, I, I want to go back and... I watched that one. Yeah, that's a that's a treat. I think that the only the program, with being on so much, really can can provide is those like life events, on camera. Yeah, and I was embarrassed to watch it. And I didn't watch it for like two months <laughs> after. Yeah. Did, did you watch? You watched it. it you not to watch it again. <laughs> yeah. Did you watch it I recently? Did, I told Freddie not to watch it again. <laughs> How about how about now though? I think after a year, it's okay to watch. It. Yeah, we, no! should, we should probably watch it together. That's what we do. <laughs> yeah. Why, why why not? I don't understand your uh, your you don't want to do why well, you don't want to do it. Because I don't want to remember. <laughs> you don't want to remember. It happened. Whether you remember, Every, everyone else saw you though. Whether you remember or, or not, it's it happened. <laughs> Like you can try to deny the deny the past or accept it, but it, it's there. Why? <laughs> Wait, I don't know why. Okay, no, I don't want to see it. I want to watch it. I want to. I want to watch it. A little no. later. A little later on that year, you guys um, met a, or had an episode, shared episode again in the garage, and I thought that's when you first met. No, they had already. Yeah, oh. yeah. You you guys oh. were like biking together or something and I was like oh wow I guess they meant like a, a week ago or something but you guys had actually met well they met and then and then Chris went away and then came back oh yeah wow oh yeah hey did you uh, um, did we talk to uh, Jennifer and stuff for the for the band yeah we got them confirmed it's going good people kind of want a maple for dance or dance because um, the the because Freddie did a poll. Because it's May Day, May Day, so. Oh, is it May Day official? It's officially May Day on the first, yeah. So. Oh, well, people, that's. That was a week ago. Oh, oh, 
Well, well, but it was airing live on Dance O' Dance. It's oh, like live, dance live. Oh, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. He airing live on TV that day, what, so. What is the Maple representative of? Is that a... Is that a like a is that like a folk custom or what is or is that Euro, European or where does that originate? It's definitely a folk custom. I don't know. like get a pole with a bunch of strings on it and then you everyone kind of dances in a circle around the pole and it wraps the pole with all the strings. Don't, don't you don't like really weave you like weave in and out in this dance and it creates this like braid effect? Yeah. Oh. Like there's like the dance where you're like like how you like move around. And then it, yeah, you braid, you make this braid with this dance, I think. Oh, well, that sounds, I mean, it sounds pretty cool to try. Yeah, I, I um, think that's a good idea. Do we, do we, where, where are we going to get a pole? <laughs> and where are we going to get a platform for the middle of the studio? Well, I, you know, I think, um, we can just get like a tall object and then <laughs> put streamers on it or something. I don't know. Oh, boy. Like a, like a lamp or something? Or, I don't know, I, I, there's definitely, like, some, some holes in the studio that are used to, like, adjust lighting from the ground. We could just, like, affix one of those with, like, a clamp and a uh, weight or something so it didn't fall over and tie some ropes to the top of it. That sounds good. I think we'll be able to figure it out. It'll be good. Mayday. Great. Maybe we can get, maybe we can get someone uh, from the crew to officially be the person who wants to decorate, you know. I don't know who that would be, I, but I'll, I'll do it if no one else steps up to do it. I'll, I'll just call you on the go. pole. That's fun. I think those the May Day poll is, is a good time. Is that what May Day? It's tradition. Isn't it like you people like skip school on May Day or something? I mean, right? Isn't that what happened? Sure, I'm not going to go to school on May Day. That's yeah. for sure. You need there. I'm <laughs> skipping. All right. Well, not now. Well, thanks, Freddie. You got anything else you want to say today? Um, ooh, no, nothing else. I, I guess um, this is, um, I don't know if you're supposed to say, but we got, we got the newspaper again. Um, but that's all. Oh, you and Kirsten? Yeah, from the procession. <laughs> you're oh. in the, did, did they put your name in there? Yeah, they did. So do they? do they know... <laughs> I mean, do they know that you were in there, like, last, was that, like, two weeks ago? I bet someone from the Olympian has put two and two together, but I don't know. It's on the front page of both days, so, too. Oh, you were, 13 days apart. You were on the front page? Yeah. yeah. Did you get a copy? We've got two copies right now, but I think we're going to send them to our parents. Oh, I want, well, I at least want to see it. Okay. And Freddie's in the video, too. <laughs> what? <laughs> they like you. You're you're very photogenic or something. Yeah, you got on twice. That's wild. I want. Uh, what day was that? Monday. It was. Um, a, it was a Sunday paper. It was Monday. Just search online. Search uh, procession of the species. Oh yeah, I saw it online already, but I want a physical copy. Yeah, I get the copy. That you, 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 you guys made that thing. You, you're, you're like the face. <laughs> You're the face of what? the th of the thing, then, right? You're like the face of the whole thing. We're both the face of the whole thing. Yeah, you got it's your your faces. Yeah. With sunglasses on. We're gonna get t-shirts. I really am gonna get the t-shirt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, did, did you see that? You can get a t-shirt. Yeah. Only eighteen dollars. <laughs> yeah, you can wear. It. Oh, I thought oh. you guys. This is this is pretty far. You guys match all the time. You know, you know how you like to match. <laughs> It's only fifty dollars if we got two. But if yeah. you matched, if you were wearing matching clothing, and the clothing was a, a picture of you kissing each other, <laughs> and you were matching, that would be so matching. That would be like, that would be like, it's like, uh, it would it would be, like, uh, Care Bears level, uh, awesome, you know. Well, I guess we'll have to do that. But um, <laughs> that's probably all I. Stay on the program today. My phone keeps beeping like it's gonna die. So All I'm right. really glad I got to talk to you. That I was afraid I wasn't gonna. Good talk. I almost was gonna go to bed. So program. Thanks again. Thanks for lighting my evening up. And uh, yeah, keep on moving your time. Happy anniversary. Uh, thanks, program. Good night. I'm glad we could be a part of it on the sh on the program. Okay, goodbye. <laughs>
Thanks for making it possible, program. Yeah. Thanks, You're program. Welcome. I'm well. Yeah, I'm, I'm going to thank the program too. Uh, like, uh, like it's, uh, an, its own thank entity. Thank you, program. Yeah. Thank you, program. Okay. Bye. <laughs> bye. Yeah, you know, we should. Yeah, we should thank the program more often. You know, it, it, it's 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 a thing we're participating in. It's maybe like when people say thanks, program. It's like as if they're, like we're. It's not us. It's its own thing. It's standing on its own. Some maybe it's stepping on us. So maybe I'm a doormat to it. Oh God. I'm gonna stand up to you, program. You're not stepping on me anymore. Call for oh no, call first. Call well, call first. Well, why are you shouting if you're? No one's shouting over you. <laughs> oh, I don't know. I, don't, I guess I don't understand when they start yelling Carl first. It's only when I get when when oh you get boy. talked over. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm that, gonna have that, to review that. I thought I was just supposed to start doing. Yeah, are you gonna start saying Carl first now? Or no more pushing you around? I think we should do this stuff. I think we're actually gonna get uh, like low on time. Yeah, do it straight on through. Yeah. Yeah. Now it's info time. So, you're watching your daily hour with me. It's a hyper live hour long call in television talk show that's filmed in, in Thurston County every day, seven days a week, 365 days a year. 366 on leap years. YDHWM began September 19, 2010. Tapes a week in advance. So, if you're watching this on TV at 11 30 p.m. on Channel 22 TCTV, this episode taped on the same weekday of the previous week. If you're watching this at 2 a.m. This episode taped on the same day of the month of the previous year. You can also watch any episode of the program on YouTube.com. Anyone can come on the program, especially you. We rely on the community for content, so give us a call at 360-836-4384. Leave a message. We'll play your message on the next episode and call you back. Yeah. Thank you. Here we go. Look at this. What's the next? Dice game, here we go. Rolling the dice. Oh, oh. Four. <laughs> March 15th, 17th, 2008. Three, four, and three. Three, four, five. Five, four, three. And you call it a two. I have a five, I'm still winning. Uh oh. Here it is. We gotta watch this. Oh yeah, roll the next one. Well, actually, oh, four, four, three. Yeah. With. Yeah. Hey. Oh. So on the program, I talk about Mr. art Ginsu. swap and me being painted what? And, and art and stuff. I didn't sell any. Yeah, and radio waves. Oh yes, I what? go into what? Really the detail. The science of, of radio. It's the end of the show. Uh, for it's you radio that. listeners, it's we're talking about the medium that we're on. It's the end of the fucking show and you didn't yeah. call me. I'm going to come down there and kick your head off. I'm going to talk about more stuff. Oh, that's fucking mouth. TM Coa, 106.5 Lepar FM. Carl's standing up for himself now. I'll be right fucking there, motherfucker. I know you're just kidding, Mr. Heart of Gold. Stand up for yourself. Yeah. No more, eight, no more seven, pushing you around. Six, there ain't no pushing me around. Uh, I'm kicking a can. Hey, who's talking here? You or me? Um, what? You what say something, what, motherfucker. What number do you want? <laughs> <laughs> fucking son of a bitch. One, four, four. Oh, whoa! 1,500 points you won, Mr. Gimsu. What a good day today. Carl's standing up for himself now. You lost, Carl. 360 836 for 384. Alright, call that number next time. You can call that number. You guys want to be able to do anything, Ken, if you want, though. If you want to call the kitty, call that number. It's a new start. Well, I had to. I don't know. You have both BI. Not really happening for me today. TCTV, Crystal Ball, La Bay Bay. And that's Jordan okay. E, Thurston County, Washington. You don't need to pay yeah, standing up for yourself. Yeah. Viewers only. Hell yeah, dog. Miss Wolf. Catch you later, Mr. Gitsu. Coming up on the next episode of Your Daily Hour with me. Your daily hour with me. Hey! hey. <laughs> it's a commercial for your daily hour with me. This is the episode we taped today. What happened on this episode, Carl? So many problems. Yeah, we're having weird problems. We start off with the wrong tape number because of 
this issue we're having with VCR, so we figure it out like about at the commercial because it's like Dan. No, it's not Dan. And then Freddie shows up here. Carl's still standing up for himself. Good job, Carl. <laughs> He's not doing that anymore. <laughs> Don't let anyone walk over you. <laughs> we're on every night at 11:30 and 2 a.m. TCTV Channel 22 or on YouTube. Uh, you can call this number. 360-836-4384. Or don't. 208-DOG-DOG. Don't. Because we're dead. <laughs> <laughs>